what do you think about Hong Kong? I really like it. Today we have uh, like a free afternoon, so we are walking around Hong Kong, so I can see like it's very beautiful, very different than what I expected before. What do you think of the jiu-jitsu level of Hong Kong compared to, you know, say Brazil or even U.S.? Um, the level is good, you know. Uh, people are very interested in jiu-jitsu here, so I like it very much. And they come all the time, they come to, to us, you know, they're not so shy. So it was good. I think the level is just going to like get better and better with more training and more people coming, you know. You have to open the door, so bring other people from Brazil, from US, like other black belts to share the knowledge. So just gonna grow faster than we think. Yes. And uh, what, what kind of advice do you have for our Hong Kong friends or even Asian friends? Because compared to around the world, we're a bit smaller. So any advice for, for them? I tell them like uh, what uh, the advice that I got when I first went to the Jiu-Jitsu class. Uh, one friend told me, oh, you should check it out the Jiu-Jitsu class. And I said, what? Jiu-Jitsu? What is Jiu-Jitsu? I didn't know, like back in the day, it was not so popular, even in Brazil. And then uh, I went to a class and I really liked it and never stopped training. So I would tell you, come check it out, like pick a place that you like to train, you feel like good, you know, choose a good black belt or whatever, a friend to train with. And start like training, you're gonna find yourself like the best sports and it's not just a sport, it's like a therapy for you. And uh, do, you, do you think you have enough girls training in Hong Kong or is it, you know, compared to the rest like Brazil, you know, US? We have a, we have a good number. You know, but still, like, we have to work and motivate more girls to come to the gym all the time. Sometimes they, the boyfriend or the husband, or because they have other jobs, they don't come so often to the gym. But, like, keep pushing that, you know. Train Jiu-Jitsu is, like, the best self-defense ever. So, uh, it's always good, uh, especially for the women, to start training, to start learning something. Yeah, for any advice for our girls in Hong Kong that are, you know, given to them because they're, this, you know, training with guys, any advice for them, what kind of techniques or should they focus on different, like uh, maybe a shrimp or maybe yeah. what should they do? Uh, usually girls, they get scared to start training with a guy, you know, because of the sweat or hairs, you know, or they hold too much and you, some girls get panic. Stuff like that, but as you understand more about the martial arts, you about jujitsu, you're gonna like let these things on the side, you know. It's so challenging for you to come and train, and you're gonna forget probably you're gonna forget the techniques, and then you have to think about and learn more and try again the next day. So, for the girls out there, just come and train. Gonna like for sure. For just for our viewers, I know a lot of people know about your Shin and Shin guard. But what was your first guard before the Shin and Shin? First, I think I, of course I learned the close guard. I used to play a lot of close guard, and then I think when I was blue or purple, I started more the play more the spider guard, open guard. And then, uh, yeah, and then after the purple, I think brown, start playing more the Shin and Shin. What was your first submission? My first was a triangle. <laughs> a triangle. Yeah. Okay. I see you a lot. It's one of my favorite. Now I like full locks as well. Oh. So, yeah, but triangle I was like there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, at last, do you have any advice for our viewers in Asia? Come to train. Come uh, like watch to uh, this match and come to train your face. Thank you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes.